This week on the Vic Meyer Show, I'm in yet another snowstorm. And uh, yeah, it's still California. And yes, it is April. And yes, it is dumping. The weather has been following me the better part of this new year. I'm back home in Mammoth Lakes during a snowstorm. I'm still in Northern California. And it's rainy. Oh, I'm back in the Arizona desert. And I brought some of that wet weather with me. Lava Hot Springs for the running of the bulls. Mammoth Lakes, California. And back for another snowstorm. I was taught there's no such thing as bad weather, just the wrong gear. We're making the best of it. There's a great musician playing at Liberty Bar this weekend. A guy named DJ Williams. As soon as I started playing guitar, it felt like my voice, and from then on, it just all my attention and effort went into that instrument. It looks like an extension of absolutely. Of you, yeah. <laughs> I did get one sunny day in to ride the mountain with my good friend Martel. We'll show you some of that. But first. This week on the Vic Meyer Show, my guest is DJ Williams, a man who's played with many bands from John Legend to Dave Matthews Band. How DJ, are you? How are you? I'm fabulous, man. I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not road worn yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave Matthews. He's for local. Well, he's also from Virginia as well. We got invited to open for him back in like 2005 and 2006 on his tour, and. After our opening set, I was just standing side stage watching the show, and he gave me one of like the fingers to come on. I was like, oh, "All right, let's go!" And got to sit in with the Dave Matthews Band, and that was kind of like an unwritten bucket list at the time because I was like, "Would never ask, was never expecting that." So. How many cities? How long? And when did it start? Um, this leg is actually all California. Uh, we started out in Fairfax, just outside of San Francisco. Formation of this band is the first time out. Like, my, the drummer is from my hometown, Nico Williams. He's from my hometown of Richmond, Virginia. I flew him out specifically to do this tour. Him and my keyboard put have like immediately connected and they're like best friends now. They met the first day of this tour. And then, uh, yeah, and me and Jiho, we go back to playing a few years now in Denver. So this band, this formation, this band is the first time this well, thing has been see together. Why you flew him out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a pretty yeah, good drummer. Yeah. So, his father is the drummer for the Whalers for many years. Really? And Kenny Chesney, yeah. He's, always, he's got drums in his blood. Originally from Richmond, Virginia, but I've been, I lived in LA for a few years, and now Denver's been home for the last six years. So the altitude isn't messing with you? No. Are you gonna go ski? That's the I'm going skiing tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Mammoth Mountain. Absolutely, it yeah. It's like, I, I think the last time I was here was my first time skiing Mammoth Mountain, and it's beautiful. Yeah. Some of the greatest views in California I've seen. This show is always at the top of my list because the vibe here is just always, I don't know, people are very engaged with music here. I don't know if it's because like only certain music comes to here and it could be very sparse and like in larger cities, but I don't know how people, the crowd here always feels a lot more engaged than other places. So, so far this is my favorite show. You're pretty engaging, so. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> I started, my folks started me on classical piano when I was four years old. Both my parents were musicians, not like, working touring musicians but they were very came from like a very musical household and i have two sisters and all of us by the time you turn four you have to pick an instrument and you have to stick with it and i, I just chose piano because it was always sitting in the house and i loved messing around with it anyway so we already had a head start and that kind of started my love for music and guitar didn't come until later in my life until like senior year of high school and i was really wanting to like do the band thing and a friend of mine took me to a battle of the bands. I was like, I want to do this. As soon as I started playing guitar, it felt like my voice. And from then on, it just all my attention and effort went into that instrument. It looks like an extension of the Absolutely. Of you, yeah. <laughs> you play very naturally. Thank you, man. I was very much into basketball and tennis. And then, like I, and then I found and then I found weed and, and music. And then <laughs> it was game over. That's a hard left. <laughs> 
you know, it's like it's what, it's what you feel passionate about. And yeah. like, I, I loved doing sports, and it was fun. But then I found music, and it was like, oh, this like this gives me goosebumps, and I'm passionate about this. So that was the big difference. Well, and I think you're, you're doing all right at it. So you might, Thank you. I might want to stick with it. I'm, 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 I always say that I'm, I'm too old to turn around. <laughs> so how hard is it to maintain your chops or write music and all that while you're um, Well, I'm playing all the time. Whether I'm not, if I'm not actively pr practicing, and usually when I'm practicing because I want to learn something new to add to the arsenal that I already am I'm holding on to. Yeah. But when I'm playing all the time, like I'm, when I'm watching TV at home, my guitar is in my hands. And I'm, I'm playing along with the commercials that come on TV, and like that's my way of keeping my chops up. And when I'm out, we're always around music, and we're always when I'm even when I'm off tour, like I go to jam sessions in Denver and just kind of work stuff out with my peers that way too. But so I'm always playing music. What would you say is your biggest influence or your biggest influences uh, in music? Um, everything, man. Like I try to always surround myself from the time I wake up. I start the day with classical music and I'm making my coffee. And then like, usually when I'm wanting to like, go out to run errands, like I have, my my AirPods are in most of the time. Cause I'm always like, I'm always searching for new, I'm like, I want a big Brazilian music kick right now and a big Australian band kick. I was gonna I'm say, listening. what's in your iPod right now? Or your, or a, a ton of King playlist. Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard and like Hiatus Coyote. Like I said, a bunch of Australian bands are like, Australia's popping right now. Lord Echo, this amazing like reggae DJ, he's out of Australia too. This is. I'm like diving deep into the Australia thing because like I don't know there's something really ha like special happening down there right now. Uh, I'm kind of in a in a moment of starting over. I've devoted the, the last 12 years to Carl Denson's Tiny Universe. So that was I was his guitar player. So I could only throw so much of myself into my solo career and I resigned from that band in August and since then I've just really just been trying to build my own brand and my own name and trying to be like Carl. <laughs> so cool. yeah, this yeah. is what I'm working at right now. Jay Williams, an acclaimed musician, singer, and guitarist who's played with many bands, including John Legend and Dave Matthews Band and Carl DJ. Denson. Yeah, yeah, Carl. I always <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah. Carl Denson's, who actually played with the, one of the bars I worked at for mm -hmm. a very long time. So, yep. DJ, it's great to finally meet you. Great to meet you as well, man. Thanks exactly. for having me. And thank you for your time. I Absolutely. Really, I really appreciate you taking time Anytime. to do this. Thank you. Thank you, man. Absolutely. Thanks for DJ's talking to me, man. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. You really, like, inspired me. Oh, my God. Absolutely. That, 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 that's always my favorite compliment. <laughs>
is like, it's a, it's a transfer of energy and I've been inspired by so many people so I love hearing when you hear you say that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Come back tomorrow night. I will. Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks for the twos, man. this little cubby here so I have a place to put my shoes when I come in from outside thank you for watching the Vic Meyer show every Wednesday right here on YouTube
Remember, when you're out there driving, keep it on your side of the plow poles. And look out for Smokey, because he's looking out for you. Thank you for allowing me to entertain you, presumably. Again, this is The Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. And also keep those comments coming. I really do appreciate them. We'll let the DJ Williams Band play us out this week. And I'll see you next week.